morning and thank you for this opportunity to be interviewed for this position of a permanent healthcare teacher at your school. Um, thank you for taking the time to discuss my candidacy and I look forward to um, having this interview and chatting and answering these next several questions. The question that I have selected to answer is please share with us some ways that you will develop student sense of self worth and emotional well-being. So first off, I believe that providing a safe and inclusive environment in the classroom and building student self-worth um, and promoting their emotional well-being are absolutely paramount. I believe these to be fundamental and if a student cannot recognize their own self-worth then they can't contribute fully within their classroom and achieve um, their best version of success, whatever that might be for them. Um, so this question kind of addresses two different issues or two different topics, self-worth and uh, emotional well-being. Emotional well-being kind of fluctuates more day to day and can be impacted by um, several factors versus uh, self-worth is more kind of um, ongoing in a deeper state. Um, so by providing a safe, inclusive environment each day in my classroom, I'm providing my students with stability. And with this stability, I can achieve this by um, simple things like implementing routines and having a predictable schedule um, that still allows for flexibility um, as necessary. And just being a re uh, relational, caring teacher. My background is a registered nurse for over 10 years, so developing um, a therapeutic relationship with my patients is something that comes very naturally to me and a lot of those skills that I developed in that sector in my life um, are, come really naturally to me to carry forward to developing those relationships with my students. Um, so in my practicum, one way that addresses and building relationships with my students to help promote their um, self-worth and just their day-to-day -day well-being is um, by a lot of simple things and some bigger things. So the simple things are, um, you know, standing at the entrance of the doorway to the class each day, making eye contact with each student as they enter my classroom, greeting them by their name, you know, hey Joey, how's it going? Just that simple touch base so that I want them to know that they are recognized in my classroom, in our classroom, and they are welcomed and um, I'm happy to see them and I'm happy that they're there and um, ready to, you know, spend the next 75 minutes together. So just something like that. I mean, as a teacher, I might be the first person that um, has greeted them for the day. You know, maybe they don't really have a lot of other connections within the school and um, I can promote those connections in my classroom. So that's just one simple thing um, that I could do. Uh, as a future teacher for your board, uh, there's multiple ways that I would continue to do this. Um, and when giving feedback, one thing that I always like to do is start off by addressing something positive that I see with the work that they have submitted. Um, and right off the bat, that kind of builds that rapport with them. And um, so I start off with something that I really liked or I thought they did a really good job with. Um, and then the second one is asking them specifically what is something that went really well in this project for you? Or what is something that you're proud of that you did in this project? Or what is something that you're happy with the results with? Um, I find that students, it's so easy sometimes and just as humans in general to focus on the negative um, aspect of our work and really kind of focus in on that. But I want to bring them back to, um, you know, you don't have to like every aspect of what you have submit, but I want to hear from them. What is something that, you know, they're proud of or they're happy with? Um, so those are kind of two things I can do when, um, that whole process of evaluation and assessment. And another way is just encouraging students to find out things that they like about themselves. Um, this can sometimes be an uncomfortable thing to say something that, um, you like about yourself. And I find that I can use Google Forms to kind of, um, allow students a platform that 
they can use to reflect on their response and then they can um, provide it to me in a way that could be anonymous if they chose to um, but otherwise that they're not sharing it in front of the whole class if they're not ready to say that but just giving them the opportunity to focus on something that um, they like about themselves and finally, another way I could do this is just by setting realistic expectations. So with the whole idea of assessment for learning, kind of knowing where each student is at when um, we're beginning a new course or a new task or a new project or whatever it may be, and then providing differentiated instruction um, within assignments and you know allowing choice and all of those things that um, can really help to provide an opportunity for students to present their best work or perhaps just uh, the most creative possible result. Uh, so thank you for taking the time to listen to my response. Have a great day.